medieval torture device. I got my ankle pretty good. I'm bleeding. It's a motorcycle! Woo! No! Dang it! What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing some more magnet fishing and we are continuing to hit the system that has been providing for us over the last few days. We've been finding a ton of stuff on this little bayou right here and we're hoping to find some more good stuff today. So we're just gonna get right into it. Don't forget to leave a like and let's get right into the video. Let's take the first throw at this spot. We already see a couple things, including like a dead deer over there. Looks like an oxygen tank or something. So let's see if there's anything else we cannot see oh there we go we got ourselves it looks like a pair of pliers dang that's like a new pair of pliers right there too oh yeah dude that still works oh man <laughs> it's like a brand new tool vice grip and that's like a name brand isn't it too i need to just start saving these tools like i was saying earlier i have a full toolbox well that's a good start to this spot right here let's see if we can pull out some more new tools like that here we go we got something coming maybe oh yeah Oh yeah, I had to pick it up off the ground. Oh, it's a big chain. Oh my goodness. Jeez, dude, we got the baby's chain. <laughs> Let's go. No wonder why it felt weird when I was pulling it up. It was just coming out of the mud. We also got a couple little things on that throw as well. Bam, in the bucket. Uh, it looks like I just got like a little nail or something. Oh, what is that? What is that actually? This is a weird, weird bolt. It looks like That's some a tap. a tap. I was just gonna say that a tap, right there. Jeez, man, that thing looks. <laughs> that looks like some medieval torture device. I feel a lot of stuff down there. I got something coming. All right, what do we got here? Uh, it looks like just a little piece of rebar. Well, it's a little kebab, little kebab rebar right there. There we go. Nothing too crazy. We'll take it, throw it in the bucket. Feeling something down there. Oh yeah, there we go, we got it. It's coming, what do we got? What is it? It is a, it's got a weed growing out of it. <laughs> That's why I was like, what the heck? It's a pipe, but it's got a weed growing out of it. This is a perfect example why we need to get this stuff out of, out of here. Look at that, there was lily pads growing inside of the pipe. Oh, I got another one of those tap things and a bunch of something else. Okay, we got a bunch of junk. It looks like just a little bolt, uh, I don't know, a piece of a pipe maybe. And another one of these like medieval torture taps. I've never found any of those before and now I've gotten two of them. I probably have found some before actually and just thought they were nails. All right, I got something again. I got more taps, man. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So many taps. Just a bunch of just junk right here. Who knows? Maybe these things are worth a lot of money and I'm just becoming rich and I don't even know it yet. And then I won't be rich because it'll end up in the scrapyard. <laughs> I do wonder that pretty often. If I like found something worth like a ton of money and I had no idea and I just brought it to the scrapyard and completely scrapped it. Like I could have very well like found something worth thousands of dollars and it was like a historic item and I just like tossed it in the trailer took it to the scrapyard and I'd have no idea. Oh man, there's just a like big pile. Oh, I got a, what is this? It's a piece of a pocket knife. Oh no, it's a piece of a blade right there. And we got more tools on that throw. I'm pretty sure this goes to, I forget what kind of knife this goes to. I want to say it's called a buck knife or something. All right, we got a little knife blade and another pair of tiny, tiny pliers. There's just a massive, massive pile of stuff right here. I, I don't know if it's someone's toolbox I got dumped or what, but I'm just pulling up finds after finds in the same exact spot. It's just like little pieces of bolts, just like kind of like building equipment. It almost looks like someone just dumped a five gallon pail of just miscellaneous junk. All right, I got something. Oh, something in a bag. What do we got here? Uh, actually, it was just under a bag. All right, nothing too crazy. Just like a little, little tiny piece of a pipe. Throw that bag in there too. I'm gonna take a throw over to my, my left. It was ripping. Bro, he hit that turn doing like freaking 30. Oh my gosh, I got a magnet full of goodies here too. Holy crap. This is a bunch of bolts and random junk. There we go, maybe. Oh yeah, I got a little piece of rebar. It's like the biggest thing I pulled up here so far. Let's see, uh, I don't know what this is. Is it another tap? Ooh, some oil coming up there. We got another one of these tap things, but it's like covered in like oil. It's like rainbow. Oh, that's big, big, dude. It's gotta be a massive pipe, man. It's all the way over there too. I'm slowly working this thing out of the mud. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, it's a... 
Dude, that's a, that's a guardrail. That's a huge guardrail. Oh my gosh, it's a massive guardrail. No wonder why that thing's so freaking heavy. All right, y'all, time for the claw. I have to hook this claw in about a quarter size hole. That's a big one. All that mud needs to get out. This thing, all right, there it goes. There all the mud goes. All right, this thing's gonna be so, so heavy. I think we're gonna just try to drag it up on the bank now. I'll drop it down slowly. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna go down there and grab it. We almost got it. Oh my gosh, dude. That thing is huge. Ow. Ready, set, go. Woo, finally, man. I don't even know if this is gonna fit in the trailer or not. I got my ankle pretty good. I'm bleeding. This fine cost me a lot. Ow! I don't even know if it's gonna fit in the trailer. Just got me a little bit, not that bad. All right, we can live with that. Let's get back to it. We're gonna have to figure out a way to either cut this up or pick it up right before we go. We're gonna have to leave this thing here. We can't bring it. It's gonna hit my car. My trailer's not big enough. We're either gonna go get an angle grinder or we'll, we'll figure out something to get this thing. All right, let's see what we can find here. Well, oh, I don't know. If that was a log or a click. Oh no, that was definitely a click. I see some oil coming up. So that means there's at least something down there. Yeah, I definitely got something. Oh, we got something on the very first throw. I have no idea what it is. It looks like some piece of a car maybe. I have no idea. That thing's pretty interesting looking though. But I mean, if we found something on the first throw, that's gonna be a good sign for this spot. I got something, but it's not anything crazy. We just got a couple nails and a spark plug. It looks like, no, not even a spark plug, just a couple nails. Let's keep on going. I did feel a bunch of clicks though, so that's a good sign. There we go, there we go. That's a big click right there. That's the biggest find of the day. Oh, look at all those bubbles. All right, there we go. There's gonna be something good right there. All right, it's coming, there we go. All right, we got our second find of the day, and it is a, uh, I don't know what this is. It's like some sort of big pipe, or I don't know, is that a pipe? Yeah, <laughs> we got a big pipe. I still don't think this is that big thing. This was a little bit further behind where I got that big click. There we go, I got it moving. Here we go, I got it, I got it. Oh, come on, stay on. What the heck, dude, this is a massive chain. Oh, dude, it's a, it's a motorcycle. It's a motorcycle. Yo, dude, I got a massive piece of a motorcycle frame. I barely have it. I got it caught by the chain. Holy cow, man, this is gonna be heavy. Ah, ah, it's so freaking heavy. Ah, woo, there we go, we got it, man. Oh my gosh, this was a huge motorcycle. <laughs> Let's go. That was a massive bike. Oh my gosh. Wow. We just barely got it by the freaking chain, man. Woo. Let's go, baby. Look at this sucker right here, man. That thing is big. I see an R back here when I was pulling it up. Or a B. I don't know what kind of bike this could be, but dude, this had to have been a big bike. Oh my goodness. There's a shock, the chain. <laughs> This was a, a big, big motorcycle. Street bike for sure. Bobby says it's a street bike. You can see the intakes right here. I don't know anything about this, so I'm trying to see if there's any logos or any recognizable thing. Ah! Our pile's getting bigger. We have a muddy disaster over here. <laughs> it is time for the secret weapon. We're switching to the claw. The claw has been coming in clutch the last couple days here. This bad boy is coming up whether it wants to or not. Oh yeah, I feel it dragging. I got a little bit of it. Oh, I had it. It's ripping. Oh man. Whoa, what is that? That's like rope. Uh, that's kind of weird. There's a log on top of it. Oh, it's a bag. That's a trash bag. You can see the handles of it. It's a black trash bag. This thing's got like a rectangle shape. Might be a safe. It's very magnetic. There's that trash bag. All right, I got a bag. Ah, oh, yeah, nothing in the bag. That's good to get out of the river, though. Not the big thing I want, though. I got another little baggie. Uh, oh, no, that's just a piece of tarp. I hate to give up on stuff, but this thing feels like it's got flat sides, which makes me feel like it's a safe, and I don't want to give up on it, but also, if it's so far in the mud, there's no way I'm going to be able to hook it with the claw either and get it up. Oh, emmy has got a bike. I you need I'm some help? The claw. Oh. All right, there we go. Here, let it go. Oh, dude, it's a twofer. There's a fishing pole on it. There's a fish a pull on it too. Two finds on one throw. Yeah, yeah, there we go. 
We got a bike and a fishing pole on that too. There we go, two for one on that. It's a mountain bike. It's definitely been down there for a while, that's for sure. Our pile is growing once again. A little Zebco fishing rod and reel that was tangled in the bike. Maybe some kid was driving to go fishing, had a bad day. Not a bad start to the day at all. There we go. Pile's getting pretty good. Oh yeah, there is. Blue, Jeez, there's blue? another bike. Well, we're gonna go pull up this bike now. <laughs> Two bikes at this spot. One of them's not even in the water. Yup, there it is. That's, there's something else next to it too. Emmy says she's gonna try to pull it up, so we'll see if she can actually do it. I think it's actually got a bike lock on it too. The vines are all grown up in this bike. Yeah, it's definitely been there for a while. You wanna try? All right, here we go, man. Let's go, baby. Second bike of the that day. Is huge. Let's swing it on out. There we go. Dang, dude, we might be able to take. Oh, never mind. I thought we were gonna be able to take it for a spin. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's a blue it wasn't even in the water. Oh, there's thorns all over it. <laughs> ah! Bam! <laughs> I think it was just hiding in the bushes, just like the car yesterday or the other day. Well, let's get back to chucking the magnet here. Woo! All right, I feel like every time I take off the claw, it just like has to get put back on for a fine. Not not a bad problem, not complaining, but <laughs> it just feels like that. But I feel like I got something small. Oh yeah, we got something coming up here. Oh, we got a couple tools. Look at that. We got ourselves a little hammer and a pair of pliers right there. That's so cool, man. Oh, we even got like a little baby belt buckle. That's awesome. Heck yeah, man. Someone's wife got mad at him. Film here, man. Just needs a little wooden handle and we'll be good to go. No, that was so close. How'd I miss that? In the bucket. I really should collect these tools that I find because I find an awful amount of those things. I, it's annoying because I know there's a couple big things out there I just, that aren't budging. All right, we're switching sides here. Emmy already hit over here. She found a couple things, but I'm gonna see if she missed anything. We got a little something here. I don't know exactly what it is. Looks like a glass. Oh, it's a picture frame. All right, well, we're not really finding too much stuff here. So I think we're gonna go head on to the next spot, but get to end it on a picture frame. We got a nice pile. Nice pile of junk de-junked from this river. So we're gonna load up the trailer and head on to the next spot. We definitely did pretty good here. I mean, we got probably at least a hundred pounds of trash just out of this one spot alone. We load up the trailer, head on to the next bridge. Oh, this spot looks freaking unbelievable. I got a very, very good feeling about this spot right here. But I already see a traffic cone down there. I see a shopping cart. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good spot. This is by far the best looking one I've seen since I've been here. First throw here. And I beat you to it. I got the first pond at this bridge. What you got? Tire weight. Bobby got tire weight. I don't know. Oh, uh, dude, I'm either feeling a bunch of sticks or like a ton of stuff. I got something. I don't know if it's a stick or what. Nope. What the, bro, that what was that? Right I think I got a wheel right here, but I had something else that came off. First throw, I got a shopping cart wheel. Bam, there we go. All right, we'll throw that in the bucket. I had something much bigger though. I got something, I heard it snap. Oh, it is a fire extinguisher. I didn't even see that. All right, come here. Let's pull this bad boy up. We got a fire extinguisher. At least I think it is. Oh yeah. Dang, there we go, man. Got a freaking old fire extinguisher right here. I don't see that there's usually a date on these things, but it doesn't look too terribly old. Broke, I think. Yeah, it's broke. Man, who knows? This may have just saved a life. You never know. Did you know fire extinguisher does not have an L in it? Now, this is the area where I'd expect to find a gun. <laughs> right here. Oh, there we go. We let loose. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, I got a bike. There we go, man. Got a bike. It's just barely on there. Oh, no. This is going to be the third bike of the day if we can get this thing up. I say if. We going to get this thing up, man. Come on. Ha. <laughs> yep. Just pieces of bike chain. We're gonna get this bike up. I got it in a good spot. There it is. All right. Oh no. Can you bring me the claw, Bobby? Man, claw's been coming in clutch all day today. Dude, this is a really, really heavy bike. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's just barely, barely on there. Ah. There we go. Woo. The pedal was stuck. All right, man. We got it. The third bike of the day. Man, we've been on a roll with the bikes. <laughs> That's for sure. We got a tangled mess here. It is like an. An older style bike, you can just tell by the frame. I, I think it's a beach parts. cruiser. I don't know though. I'm not too, Blake would know. <laughs> oh, that just splattered. There we all go. Over. All right, well, now that we got this thing out, that should open up a lot more area for us to find some more stuff. 
Oh man. One of these days I'm gonna make my buckets. Oh, oh Bryce, you did make your buckets. It's an you. Oh yes, the assist. Oh man, I just got like I got sticks and like some nail no, those aren't nails. What are those? Oh it's a piece of a grill, I think. Yeah, we got a piece of a grill. I'm pretty sure that is. Alright, throwing that in the bucket and some sticks with some rope wrapped around them and a pieces of a bike chain so there might be another bike down there i'm actually gonna go jump to the other side real quick that was a big click oh it's coming too all right we got something on the first throw over here and it is a big big piece of rebar got a nice little piece of rebar and a treble hook we're going to do some fishing for sure for sure bam here we go we got something again is it a piece of rebar oh man it is a ton of pieces of the bridge i think i don't know exactly what it is but we're gonna need a bucket at this rate Jeez! oh my gosh bobby coming in clutch with the bucket ask and you shall receive mr bright ha ah, i want a hundred thousand pounds where's it at <laughs> today is like the last day of reasonable heat it's supposed to be like upwards of 115 feels like temperature come tomorrow i got dude i landed right on top of something oh man is it just gonna be a bunch of bridge pieces yup i got a big old piece of rubber it's like getting caught under the bridge there we go we got it i'm gonna build my own bridge by the time we're done here yeah Woo, there we go take another throw man we just got this rebar pile here. Also, if you guys are interested in getting into magnet fishing for yourself, go check out battlemagnets.us. The link is down in the description if you guys want to go find some cool stuff this summer. This feels too big to be rebar. Oh, I got another bike. <laughs> hey, Bob, you want to claw me real quick? The bike is coming. This actually looks pretty fresh. Come here, baby. Ah, no. Dang it. It was right there. Oh, on it. Woo, woo. There we go. Thank that you. was definitely way more fresh. Hey, there we go, man. That took a minute to get up, but we finally got it. What is this, bike number four? Holy crap, man. We haven't found a bike in like forever, and we're just found four today. And that's how it goes, though, man. We're doing pretty good today, man. We got a lot of weight. Dude, that thing was magnetic. It's crap. I got the whole chain. I ripped the whole chain off the bike. It is. Ah, what do we got here? It looks like a pipe or a piece of a fence, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's a big old pipe right there. Bam! Throw that down on the ground. Yeah, that was literally soon as it hit the water all the way out there. Like splat click. There's so much stuff out there, man. I think it's just all like pipes and pieces of rebar though. It's just rebar. There's a bag attached to it. It's got a nut on it though. Or is this just the world's biggest bolt? Uh, we might have the world's biggest bolt on our hand. Another piece of rebar. Dude, this place is just loaded with rebar. It's just like as soon as it hits the water. All right, I got something coming up. What do we got? I don't know what it is. We got a full magnet, though. It looks a little bit different than rebar. I think that's... I, I actually have no idea what that is. Oh, that's a handle for something, though. That might be a toolbox handle or something. And a welding rod. That actually makes sense that you found a welding rod with this. It's a tool for a pipe fitter. The people who line up the pipes for welding. Yeah. Like, you rest the pipe on there and then you got those screws so you can adjust the level to get it perfectly level. Good fun. Oh my gosh. I was recording too. Guys, we're leaving now and we're buying lottery tickets. <laughs> all right guys, I appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end of the video. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, comment bike down in the comments for the four bikes we got today. We had a really good day. We've been jumping around. We hit all the bridges on the one good system we started off with, but we just found this. And there's a couple more bridges on this system right here. And we are definitely going to be trying tomorrow because I, I know there has to be a gun in here somewhere. Anyways, I will see y'all then. Peace.